was go. crazy. <laughs> there was a journey to watch or he got turned into a tv remote who knows that's up to that's up to interpretation but why a tv remote hello guys this is vinny and this is dhru and today we are going to react to actually a short film if you would call this uh, it's by broda shaggy it's on youtube it's called miss money road so here we go <laughs> congratulations no Have a good day. Shaggy, they go. Carry yourself. Come on for you. Come back. 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 Transport now. Transport go where from here to that place. You order that Uber. Oh, come on for here, yo. Come, no go spoil this work, oh. I love this very. Thank you. Ah. Don't mention. I'm just like that. How you doing now? I do fine. Ah, I'm in very happy mood today. Well, like any tour you buy, I go give you double. I feel like crying for you. Why you cry? Who beat you? I need one gram of go inside your shop. How many one buy? No, 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 no. That gram of go, we plenty money day inside, so. Bring down one, come outside. Eh? Hey, is it waiting? You want the ah! cottages? Me now. You want to ah! Shaggy! Oh, oh, God, 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 God. <laughs> Shut up! I've been fast since yesterday. I never eat anything. I want break. This one a bread. We are gonna take break. Ah. Yeah! Don't worry. Don't worry, I get what you do when they do for me when I spoil you. We go disappear now, homie. Where? Bo ba ba la di ba mo yo ba ta kwa la kwa la ba la ba so mbo ta kwa ta bele ruba. Oh yeah, feel. Hmm. We no move. We still there. I swear. Did you do that? Bye. We no move. This is my energy drink. Ah! Ah! Don't you dare, mama. Don't you stop going there, mama. Say gua, 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 gua. Say a lot of time. I go turn you to remote. Remote control. <laughs> remote control. Mm. Ah! Please, for which TV? DSTV. I want to look down. Ah! Sa, sa, sa. How say no be cartoon network? Africa magic, you know. Ah! I'm mean, a fucking damn sheep. That was crazy. <laughs> There was a journey to watch. That we went on a journey. <laughs> so in the beginning let, let's let's see so in the beginning the guy who had the money right the shopkeeper guy i was like oh he's such a sweet guy such a nice guy and he trusted his friend wanted to give him some money and broda shaggy was the friend and i'm like what a jerk of a friend i what i don't know is that did that guy owe broda shaggy any money for some kind of ritual or am i misunderstanding it i'm not sure right i didn't understand the ritual part i mean what was it supposed to be a ritual was he asking for a ritual i didn't understand the ritual part yeah but it just seemed that uh, that guy was so very happy having gotten the money that he was just like okay yeah yeah have it yeah. Awesome. what so so you that that was uh, like i was like oh he's so nice right and broda shaggy was terrible if they and brought in this guy i mean that guy was being generous and giving money out to broda shaggy and broda shaggy like double crossed him then he brings this cultist i don't know what a cultist is i think it has something to do with uh, religious magic or something do you think 
I mean, it just says a member of a cult, such as a devotee or member of a religious cult. He was trying to scare Shaggy, saying that you're going to do that to a cultist. So maybe a cultist is somebody to be afraid of. I mean, you don't mess with them. Yeah, guys, you guys can tell us if we are on the right track or if there's more to it. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily religious or if it's a violent group. We are coming out of ignorance in this case, right? So, so just uh, pardon our... Uh, guesses here because we don't know what it is and then, and then we come to know the very sweet guys actually he took someone else's money basically everyone was greedy and that money belonged to a spirit <laughs> i think he was a spirit because he said i'm gonna watch tv for spirits i think it would be a genie i mean a genie can be a good one it can be a bad one you know and it had the money maybe it was there to test people i don't know and another thing was interesting where that cultist is on broda shaggy's back and broda shaggy says some spell or something and it doesn't work so is this <laughs> that was funny that was ridiculous <laughs> but but so is broda shaggy does his character have magical powers and is this part of a series or is this an isolated short film uh, you know you guys can tell us if we need to watch something else there but that was interesting you know he says uh, the juju has expired <laughs> <laughs> like it's a product it's expired on that <laughs> yeah subaru the blue the blue clo- clothes yeah. guy yes i found his dance quite funny <laughs> yeah and i think even uh, when that uh, little roof falls on broda shaggy's head i think that was improvised is my guess i think oh, they, they okay. that it actually happened and then they they went with it the way i saw it is it's kind of like fables for kids you know to mm. teach them to not be greedy like there were some lessons in this for example cycle of greediness if there is a cycle of greediness everyone will be punished also don't show off your riches you know because someone else can mess you up yeah when you're talking about the fable with the lesson to be learned i think you know in the end uh, i mean uh, that subaru he that the genie or the spirit he eats him as a bread the other one the cultist is made into a drink but because shaggy said that i take full responsibility and i'm sorry for it i think that's why he was you know let go i don't know whether he was let go at the end or not but the kid didn't I, eat him up or he got turned into a tv remote who knows that's up to that's up to interpretation <laughs> but why a tv remote that was even fun. i mean food and drink understood but tv remote well i guess he was going to eat food drink drink and watch tv <laughs> that was that was the point <laughs> <laughs> and that was a complete circle of entertainment <laughs> maybe it caters to kids more i could be wrong you know um but it was a nice simple story with good lessons in terms of humor i'm not personally a big slapstick kind of a person but i know it caters to a, a lot of people every humor is very personal so yeah. you know i i can't critique the humor there were some humorous moments but uh you know it was a it was a nice story to me rather than a very humorous short all right guys if you liked our video please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to get notified every time we upload a video also like our video actually you can like it share it with friends and until next time adabo adabo